Hello everyone, this is Arif Mohammad Khan from Java Technology Center. You are watching the video from Java Technology Center. It's a knowledge hub and this is Arif Mohammad Khan. So my today topic is how to break the singleton, how, so we, how we should go through the singleton, how we should implement the single to, uh, singleton to overcome the situations. Just like how we can break the singleton. So this is the methodology. Sing singleton can also be breaked so that is done by number first it can break if the class is serializable if the class is serializable that means you are writing you are writing some i mean uh, byte stream to object and object and getting the object to byte stream or it's a con conversion that is serialization if you know that you can understand that one so that is uh, it can be the uh, if serializable class second one if it breaks the callable got it you are cloning the object so by cloning the object you can break the singleton and serializable why serializable is happens because you are writing uh, objects from different objects you are writing and you are reading from different object then it called the serializable to be break clonable you are directly co you can copy the that number third you can break by reflection itself got it number four when multiple class loaders are loaded the same class are you getting my point multiple class loaders can easily load the class so how we can overcome this situation that singleton can be break number first by serializable number two by clonable number three by reflection number four by diff multiple class loaders are loading the same class got it so there are four ways that i find it out i rnd a lot and find it out the four ways to break the singleton now come to the point how how we can resolve how how do you solve how do you solve rule breakers got it number first i i written it is much safer to use eager initialization got it means initialization eagerly one is the lazy initialization and one is the eager initialization means before any call class is available to you that is called eager initialization number second to prevent a deserialization to create new object you may override read resolve method in your class and throw exception are you getting my point that is serialization and deserialization serialization to write the byte stream to objects and object to deserialization that is object to byte stream cutting so my i mean second point is to prevent deserializing to create a new object you may override read resolve method whenever you will uh, override the read resolve method then it it protect your serializable class got it it protect your singleton methodology number third point to prevent cloning how you can prevent the cloning you need to override the clone method and throw clone not supported exception if any occur error occurred got it number fourth point to escape for reflective initiation we can add check in the constructor and throw exception so there are four ways with the help of that we can overcome the uh, uh, breakers of singleton now how we can effectively do that in coding i took the same private static file singleton instance object reference private constructor and i just check if instance is already exist there is no requirement to get the new object that means i i written a check check if an already if we already have an instance got it now I create simple that is get instance method read all reads that I already exist write replace and clone not supported so this is how and if return instance clone not supported access one got it and the best way to utilize to make that class not the class but utilize the enum for it for singleton factory just like this what I did instance public stated singleton factory get instance and return instance so this is the best and best way to uh, to overcome to break the rules of singleton if you don't want uh, that your singleton uh, class will be breaked or 
I mean process will be breaked then utilize the enum enumerators for it okay thank you for watching my video